Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is RJ. So today we're looking at Dual Mine. We're going to be checking out how the account has changed. I've got a payment proof for you. We're also going to be looking at some more of those scam coins that you keep getting sent to your Tron wallet. So keep watching. Okay, and welcome to another video. And remember, if this is your first time visiting my channel and you want to learn more about how to earn cryptocurrency for free, about cloud mining sites, crypto investments, and lots of other crypto-related stuff, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to tag that notification bell so you're alerted to all my latest content as it comes online. Okay, so it has been about three weeks since the last time we were here in my dual mine account. And I, since then, I've had lots of PMs and DMs asking me to do another update video on Dual Mine. And to be honest with you, the reason why I've held off so long is because not a whole lot has gone on with Dual Mine. They've not really done any updates, they've not even really posted anything um, to do with the program in the sense of, you know, discussing things moving forward with uh, their grand plan of getting CRT onto various different exchanges, hopefully getting it onto Binance and all that kind of stuff. That has gone very, very quiet, uh, which sort of makes me think that perhaps we've now got to a position with the program that they're happy with and that maybe behind the scenes they're not doing a whole lot more uh, and they are now just sort of sitting there counting their money as we struggle to get our coins uh, out and um, swapped into something that we want and we want to use and can use. Uh, so that is sort of the reason why I've not done a video for quite some time. But anyway, we're in here. Um, we will quickly uh, run through the numbers. So if we scroll down. So like I said, the last time we were in here was three weeks ago. And three weeks ago, our BTC power was at 16,000 giga hashes. You can now see we are at nearly 20,000 giga hashes. Our dash was at 1,000 mega hashes. We're now at nearly 14. Uh, so yeah, uh, nearly fourteen hundred, so one thousand four hundred mega hashes. We're nearly at Monero was at three thousand five hundred hashes. We're now at nearly four thousand hashes. Uh, for some weird reason, I haven't written my LTC down. Uh, but Ethereum was at one eighty mega hashes. You can now see we're at nearly three hundred mega hashes on that. Uh, BCH was at 4,000 mega hashes. We are now at uh, nearly 12,000 mega hashes. So that's a massive jump. Uh, Zcash was at 440, I think. My handwriting is terrible. Uh, we are now at 661. And my doge was at 450 we're now at 606 so most of our coins have had um quite considerable jumps and that is just purely from me reinvesting those coins because as i keep saying we don't really know what is going on with dual mine we don't know what their plans are really Obviously, they did keep saying at one point that they were trying to get CRT to $1. I don't know if they have just given up on that because it doesn't look like it's going to happen. I mean, I think we're struggling to be at about 20 cents, to be quite honest. Um, so, yeah, so uh, because of this and because of this uncertainty, uh, I always like to keep my options open. So basically... What I'm doing is just sort of upgrading all of um, or reinvesting into all of my uh, contracts just on the off chance that Dual Mind suddenly change uh, their idea of what they want to do. They then suddenly start maybe offering other means of withdrawal. So, you know, that maybe we could start with drawing BTC or we could start with drawing ETH or any of these other coins alongside CRT. 
obviously, you know, that is obviously what everybody wants. And like I say, it is something that could possibly happen. So this is why I've left my options open by keeping all of my contracts alive. So anyway, we, oh, we do have some very small contracts down here with Ethereum Classic and BT, uh, Bitcoin Gold. Uh, and they have reached their minimums for reinvest. And Dual Mine have actually got a promotion on as an eight time withdrawal, but you only your coin only has to be at a minimum of one dollar. So we're going to look to do a quick reinvest on these two. Uh, I had a quick look at what Ethereum Classic is worth for two coins. It's actually over a hundred dollars. I didn't even realize. I didn't even realize that Ethereum Classic was actually that, uh, worth that much. And we're not going to get a whole lot on it, but times eight, uh, we'll just do that. So we'll create that. Must be equal to two. Oh, of course, yeah. I keep it. I haven't done, I haven't done a, a reinvest below uh, <laughs> like that level for so long. I forget that because dual mine, when you do a reinvest, they actually hold back a small amount so if you have basically exactly two which is the minimum required on ethereum classic it won't give it you because you probably got to have a, a minimum of something like 2.3 because basically they'll take the two and then they leave a small amount in there i think it's just to essentially keep the uh contract active uh and the same with this because i think that the minimum withdrawal on bitcoin gold is one so that's good. we've got 1.1 i don't think we're going to be able to do a reinvest in that but we'll you never know so we would get for that 1.28 times eight so i'm expecting it to say that we've not got enough oh okay we have got enough okay so if we go pay with profit and there we go. So we got 1.28 times 8 on Bitcoin gold. So we were at 12, uh, what is it, hashes, giga hashes? I'm not quite sure. We get back to this. Uh, yeah, so okay, so we now got 22. So there you go. Um, and we'll just have to wait for that one to get up to either 2.1 or 2.2, 2.3, something like that anyway okay so the the thing like i say with these hashing um these promotions i have noticed that gradually uh they've they seem to be no longer giving crt airdrops uh obviously they did advertise a crt airdrop promotion but only if you purchased your hashing power with crt but you couldn't use the CRT that was actually in your account. You had to you had to be absolutely brand new CRT. So essentially what they were suggesting was for you to withdraw your CRT to an exchange and then and then bring it back into dual mine as a new investment. I just thought that is just so absolutely ridiculous. But that is what they were offering. If you wanted to get a CRT airdrop, you had to pay i mean you could you you basically had to just open a new contract it could have been any contract but it had to be a new investment of crt and you couldn't just reinvest the crt which was in your account which yeah i just thought that was crazy um but like i say uh the last standard promotion we had was a nine times and with with any nine times bonus they never used to give crt airdrops but now we have an eight times which admittedly it's a very low eight times you only have to have a minimum of one dollar but even that they're not giving you a crt airdrop and i think almost the crt airdrops have gone that that's it they've gone because they've realized how much is building up in people's accounts also as well i mean they took away the ability to just reinvest into your own CRT a long time ago. And I actually, getting back to these promotions, can actually start seeing 
the possibility that these promotions will start dropping down. So they might go to a seven times, a six times, a five times, uh, even maybe completely disappear from um, people with large accounts. You know, so people, uh, p those people that are opening new accounts, which as a point, um, I don't advise, I still do not advise anybody uh, opening up an account into dual mine and investing any money into this program uh, it is very difficult to get your coins back and whatever you invest into this program as soon as it basically gets put into a contract you've lost you've essentially you've pretty much lost most of that uh, worth because you can only withdraw now in CRT. CRT is worth an absolute pittance. So, like I say, I do not encourage anybody to invest into dual mine. And the only reason I continue to make these videos are for current members and try and keep them up to date with what's going on, how my account is doing. Obviously, for many of you out there, that might sound a bit of a doom and gloom. But for those of us that have been in the program for a number of years, we know, I guess we reflect back to how great this program was at one point. And basically through deception, uh, lies uh, and lack of um, transparency, they uh, dual mine have essentially fooled pretty much everybody into accepting this system and now we're stuck with it. Uh, obviously, you know, the one thing that is in our favour is that the programme is still here. Obviously, dual mine could have just disappeared, taken all our money and gone. So the that's what is in our favor because we can still make withdrawals even though uh you know it's only every what is it every 10 days every two weeks whatever it is uh and we can only withdraw in crt the last withdrawal i did uh was like four that about i got i think it was like i think i got something like about four thousand nine hundred and ninety nine crt into my um, account and when I did a swap it basically was worth ten dollars so you know like I say it's better than nothing but it ain't great you know what I'm saying uh, so but this is the situation we are in okay so like I said I recently uh, made a withdrawal and had that land in my wallet so if we go and check out the payouts and you can see that I withdrew 4,600 CRT on the 28th of the 5th, 2021. And if we click on my CryptoNits wallet here, you can see that I had 4,539 CRT land in my wallet on the 30th of the 5th. 2021 so basically you're looking at 48 hours it took from the time i made the withdrawal for it to actually land in my wallet i believe that i did mention that i that the withdrawal was for 4999 i think what must have happened is that is what i actually had in my wallet at the time because i have been saving some of my crt and not been cashing all or exchanging all of it okay so what we can do though is we use those crts we use just swap we turn our coins into usable coins and then what we can do is invest them elsewhere and try and make them grow to sort of that is sort of a way we can recover our, um, you know, our investment. Obviously, for many of us, I I use Atomic Wallet uh, to stake TRX. So, you know, we, when we swap uh, our CRT to TRX or Tron, 
that's one place you can put it. You can put it into Atomic Wallet and stake it, and that will gradually build up. And then the other place uh, we've been looking is this Sun Mining. So if you are interested in putting your CRT to work to have the uh, chance of essentially building up uh, another coin or coins, uh, then this is where I personally have started to use. I have shown it in other videos. Uh, they have actually changed uh, the look of this site now. It gives you more options. So basically what you'd want to do is come into uh, the website's just up here. So it's sun.io. And then you want to go into Sentry Mining. So this is what uh, you would see in the earlier videos I did because this is the uh, the website that we use. But uh, when we scroll down, you will see now that everything has ended. So the, these um, slots at the top, this is where the liquidity mining was taking place. And if we scroll right the way down to the bottom, this is where the lending pools were. Now you'll see all of them say ended but if you've got involved with this do not panic what you've got to do is you just scroll back to the top if you're in the lending pool what you want to do is just click here where it says go to just lend and you'll see this is my account so uh, i actually did add uh, some usdt so my last withdrawal from dual mine i i think i mentioned i got 4999 crt i converted 4000 of that into usdt which essentially gave me around 10 dollars or just it was just under 10 dollars worth of usdt which i added into the usdt lending pool um along with my um T trx or tron which i'd added to the tron lending pool so obviously now what they've done with this new site is they've basically put everything together so all of my coins uh are in here and then in this area here this shows what um coins we will actually receive so we're going to receive a uh, bit torrent token just swap token trx sun old so that is the old version of the sun token if we go back to the new site uh and also as well you've got sun swap sun swap is essentially like just swap but it's for the old sun token so you can swap that to the new sun token but having the old sun token in the lending pool is not a big deal you can just leave it in there it will continue to grow and once you get that up to a certain level you can then swap it if you wish to to the new sun uh, token and then you can you can participate in sort of the staking liquidity pool uh, or, or obviously you can continue to use the lending site uh, which uh, I am using here. And if this seems like something that you really do want to get into once you've exchanged those coins, what you can simply do. And the great thing is now they've made it much easier for you to um, get into this. Uh, because rather than having uh, lots of different sort of mining uh, choices where on the old site you just had, if we have a look here, you had all these different uh, types of mining you could do. What you They basically, like I said, they've put it all into one website. And now what you can do, like I could just click on supply and then I could add more TRX there. If I wanted to add more USDT, I click that. If I wanted to reinvest, because you'll see where it says wallet, this is how much of each coin I have in that in my wallet. So if I wanted to click supply here, uh, I could just go approve win and it would it would basically take that 1.6 and add it back in to the uh, mining 
that I'm doing. So that sort of is a you like reinvest in it there if you want to do that. But personally, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hang on to that. Uh, I might even, you know, once it gets up to a decent level, I possibly might reinvest it. But really what I'm trying to do is take the CRT we receive, put it into this lending application and whether it's with TRX, USDT, whatever it is, and basically build that up into something more from what we're getting from dual mine. So like I say, it's just a way of possibly at least helping us recoup some of, if not all, of our investment. So like I say, these are all the coins that we get. And funnily enough, this YFX is a coin I recently saw land into my TronLink wallet. And I actually thought it was a scam token. But the good thing is, is that you can't actually remove tokens from your wallet you can remove them or ignore them, but all they do, all that does is put them out of sight. So the great thing is, is even, even though I clicked on it to ignore because I thought it was a scam token, I know where to find that. So I can now go into my wallet and just add that. Uh, and, um, and obviously now get the benefits from that. Uh, the NFT one, I did know that that was an original, that was an official token when it landed in my wallet. But like I've said with a lot of these airdrops, if you're using this lending pool or the liquidity pool, if you receive an airdrop and it does not appear in this list of coins, then essentially... Firstly, what you want to do is make the assumption that it is a scam coin and therefore just click ignore. Because like I say, by clicking ignore, all that does is remove it from being displayed in your wallet. But it doesn't actually remove it from your wallet. But by removing it from the displayed tokens, it means that you have no chance of accidentally clicking on it or doing something with it which could then end up compromising your wallet if it is a scam token but then obviously what that does is it leaves you free to go and do a bit of homework go and do some research on um, google or wherever and find out if the token you have received is legitimate or it is a scam token now the real big problem uh, remember as well, guys. If you are part of the um, part of the lending pool or the staking pool, when you set it up, you will be re you will receive these weird looking tokens. Now, what these are, like it says here, these are in fact a receipt of your deposits. So, whatever you do, do not remove them or get rid of them or lose them or whatever they are literally the receipts of your deposits so should anything happen to just lend we can still receive or retrieve should i say our investment by via these receipts so make sure you keep hold of them okay so let's have a look at some of these scam tokens uh and we're going to go through them and we're going to discuss them. Okay, so basically when you come in here, these are going to show the tokens that are available that I have displayed that I'm fairly certain are legit. So you've got USDT, CRT, but that's the Ethereum version. That's my um, USDT receipt we were just looking at. That's my TRX receipt. There's my CRT. I have 992, which I've kept. You never know. Suddenly, something might happen and CRT may, cross fingers, become uh, a worthwhile token to hold. So, as I've always said to you guys, never ever exchange every single last token you have of a certain coin or whatever. Because you never know when 
or which coin is going to be big next. I know a lot of you out there have spoken to me or sort of annoyingly posted that um, you were holding a coin, then you it, ra it went up to a certain level and you thought, oh, great opportunity. You exchanged it all for Bitcoin or something like that. But the thing was, that coin didn't stop going up. So yes, you got a decent price for it, but had you been patient or at least kept some, you would have benefited from the real big uh, prize at the end. Okay, so like I say, these are the displayed tokens that we have. If we click on the plus, and this is the same for the mobile app as well. And then what you want to do, that will take you, the plus sign will take you into displayed apps, uh, assets, which is the ones we were just looking at. If you click on my assets, now this is all of the assets or coins you have been sent. Now, this is where the scammers are starting to get really, really devious. Now, SHIB is actually an official coin. Um, it got released a while back. Many people think it's going to be massive. Uh, I got sent 4 million of them. Uh, but because only because of what had happened prior and the reason why I did that recent video on the Tron scam or the on these coins I looked into this and apparently the people or the developers of SHIB said they will never ever do any airdrops so clearly that is a scam coin disguised as a real coin so the US the USHT, that's the coin that appeared in the last video I did. Now, Fist, this again, if you look this up, appears to be an official coin. Personally, I'm I've I not taking any risks on it, so I've I've not I'm basically leaving that in there, just sort of in the background. This ZMN I know is a scam coin. As uh, unfortunately, a subscriber of mine posted a message saying that they had basically gone to exchange it and ended up losing all of their Tron. And it was something about 350, 330 Tron or something like that that they lost. So DRPS have no idea. UME. Some of these have actually even appeared in my wallet, and I haven't even seen them. They're just there. Uh, USBJ is obviously that is. Um, I'm not. That should actually be USBT. That's what it, I think. That should actually be USBT. Uh, again, you see in the mobile wallet. What I like about in the mobile wallet is you can even when they're hidden in the background, you can click on the icons. And it will then take you through to a page where you can view the details will, without actually adding it to your displayed tokens. In the browser, unfortunately, you can't do that. But this, um, like I say, I'm fairly certain that is a should be a USD DJ rather, not USBJ, but USDJ. USBT should be USDT. Uh, and because obviously what they're doing is they're trying to make them look as official as possible and even sound very similar to the coins we know. And that's why some people just go, oh, USBT. And in their head, that's right, because it sounds like it should do. But in fact, obviously, we know that is a scam coin. Uh, love, again, this is one that just appeared in my wallet. A AAMT, I know that that is a scam coin. And like I say, that is another one of these coins, and this is why I like the mobile wallet, because you can click on it, look at the details, and this is another one that says you can use AAMT, or you can exchange it for TRX at this site. And then it will take you through to a site that looks very similar to Just Swap or another swap site. You put your details in there and then basically it will tell you the swap didn't go through. They're very sorry. And then you'll come back to your wallet 
and realize that all of your coins or all of your Tron has just basically disappeared or at least 90% of it has. So again, you've got to be very careful. So this is the y YFX that we know because we see it here in the list. So we can click to add that to our, so that is now in displayed assets. And you see the, the plus sign has gone. But like I say, with these um, ones, I basically just, any of these ones that you're seeing here, just don't trust them. I did say I did do, um, I did research on this. It looks like an official coin. But when I went through to the website, uh, the website was basically non-existent. Uh, there was a, a message on there from the would-be developer. Uh, but the message wasn't, it was just sort of like in a bubble. It wasn't even officially, dis actually officially embedded into the site. So, again, because of that, extremely suspicious. And I just want to make sure you guys are kept up to date with all these coins. I mean, I'm receiving these airdrops two or three times a week now. Personally, if it says you can exchange it and then click on this website to do so, for me, that is a scam. That is a scam. Anything that sort of is saying, yes, you can exchange it, um, you know, but isn't directing you to a website, that could possibly be legit because they're not trying to trap you. They're basically saying, right, if you go to Just Swap or if you go somewhere else, you can swap this coin, but... Like I say, only do it through an official site. Do not do it through a site that they are telling you to go to. Because clearly, for me, that is definitely going to be a scam. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. I don't want to bang on about it anymore. I just want to make sure you guys and your coins are kept safe. I hope you found it informative and you enjoyed it. If you can smash that like button, it really, really helps my channel, basically because of the YouTube algorithm and all that. So if you can smash it, I really appreciate it. And you take care. Have a great rest of your week and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.